well, I did state in one video on YouTube about raising brine shrimp to be adults. So this is where it starts. So it's just a jar. I think it's one gallon. And the water that's in here is salt water, just like you would put in your saltwater reef tank. Mixed to the same parameters. This one's actually 1.025 salinity. As you can see by the brick on the right there, I had to rig up a light so we could see in here. I normally don't have a light on here, just the air. As you can see, the air is just barely going. I don't want it boiling on the top. I just want to keep them turned. As you can see, they're just barely moving around. Just enough to keep them suspended in the water. That's all you need. As you can see, it kind of has a green tinge to it. Because I fed these before I thought about turning this phone on. This is what I feed them. Spirulina powder. Not much to it. So keep your air turned down. Just enough to keep them moving. I only feed every three or four days. And mainly just a little pinch. Just to give that green water look to it. These were actually hatched in a hatch hatcher before I put them in. I was just doing another experiment. The ones next to them in this other jar were hatched in this jar. I just put the salt water in. And these have been in there about two more weeks. But you can see there's they're in there. So you don't need to hatch them in your hatcher. You can just put them straight in to the salt water and they will hatch. So we'll keep track of these two. See how they do. I did like my very first video on YouTube, which is just terrible. It's a whole minute and a half. You can see the adults in that video. You can see the female carrying the egg, which they'll continually reproduce in these jars if you get it going right. So let's see where this experiment ends up. This is day two of the brine shrimp being in this vase, jar, or whatever you want to call it. You can see the water is kind of a yellowy color. That's from the spirulina. And I did hatch them in this little bowl. If anybody's never seen one of those, let me know. Super simple to use. Uh, see if I, I moved the other bowl just so that we could just concentrate on one. I did put a piece of used plexiglass on the top and a light so we can see in. You can see them all bouncing around in there. But this is how I control the air. I don't like to put that valve straight in line because then you're just back pressure in the pump so I control the air with the valve on that T. But I can open that and shut the air off so that you can see. Yeah, they're actually moving around in there. Probably not going to do this every day because it's going to take a while before you'll be able to see any difference in them. Probably feed them again tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, they're doing doing all right. We'll see if we can keep it going. Stay tuned for part three. This is the next installment of trying to grow some brine shrimp to adults. As you can see, the water's got that yellow green color because I fed them 24 hours ago with the spirulina. They are starting to get attracted to the light. Let's see how close we can get. You know when you hatch brine shrimp how small they are? These are a lot bigger than that. I think I'll uh, try to hold this still. I'll turn the air off 
so you can see them. There we go. So this is about five days. After our last clip that I shot. So they're probably 10 days total. But they are attracted to the light. Still super small. Not sure what I'm going to do with them when they get bigger. Maybe put the adults in it. Maybe a 10 gallon. Maybe a tub. Mass produce them. I don't know. We'll see. So we'll come back in another few days and see how they're doing. Here's the next installment. We are now to day 12. So you can kind of see their little tails. We'll shut the air off like normal. Let's see if we can. I would call those the juvenile brine churn. Kind of has a yellow tinge to it from the spiraling, but that's all right. I can see them. They're probably two weeks away from being adults. And then we'll get to see the males and females. The females will actually lay eggs. And we can see what I'm going to do with them. Stay tuned for whatever number installment we're on now. We'll continue on until we get them full size and actually feed them to somebody. All right. Me and my shaky hand will stop now. All right, here we are at day 20. And you can see, they're getting really close to being adults. Yeah, I'll turn this air off again. Makes it a little clearer. Oh, that's too close. Yeah, They're coming along. Probably would have been better if I wouldn't use a round base. But it is what it is. So. Looking good. I have the tub set up, which is where I'm gonna scoop some of these guys out, put them in the tub of salt water. I do want to say this is the same salt water that I first set up. I haven't done anything but top it off with tap water. So we'll update again. I don't know, maybe in another week. Well, here we are. I think this will probably be the final installment, clip, whatever you want to call it. I just want to recap. This is a one gallon vase from Hobby Lobby with adult brine shrimp in it. And how I did this is move that out of the way. I used some and some ocean sea salt. You can use whatever brand you want. This one is usually the cheapest. You just need to mix it correctly. And on the side of the box, it has the instructions on and on. I use this. This is a salinity checker. So we can get it up there. I as long as I get into 
0.026 close enough we're not trying to make a lot of corals or anything here we're just making brine shrimp you know sea monkeys uh, this is what they're fed spirulina powder you can buy it on Amazon you can buy it at Walmart you can buy it everywhere just a powder and for people who I know will ask me how much do you feed every two to three days I put in this one pinch you can get these online you can get a pinch a dash you can get the whole kit of these very cheap that's how much I put in for one gallon every couple of days so let's look at this you can see how big they've gotten and everything that you see that is not everything but everything you see floating around in there is brine shrimp eggs as they are breeding and releasing them you can see how big they've gotten there's one there you can see the egg hopefully you can see the egg she will release that egg pretty soon and it will float in this water and eventually become a brain shrimp There's another one over here. There's another one. They start out white, they'll turn to yellow, and then they turn to brown, just like the brine shrimp that you buy. So, pretty cool. I don't know if my flashlight makes it better or worse. Does it make it better or worse? There you can see an egg. You can see all the legs. That's a brine shrimp. Living in a regular salt water, just like you have in a salt water tank. These will be moving to a, about a 20 gallon tub that I have set up. I'm mixing the water right now. And then we're gonna go get a lot of brine shrimp, hopefully, or we're gonna crash. One of the two. Hopefully not crash. We'll see. So, after I clip all of these clips together, I think there's six or seven of them now. I'll post this and uh, you can ask me questions. You can try it yourself. You can do this, like I said, this is a one gallon vase. And do this. I've seen people do it in a 300 gallon tub outside, but mixing 300 gallons of salt water is kind of expensive. So I started it here. I'm going to move up to about a 20 gallon tub, and who knows where it'll go from there. We may do a huge tub. All right, let me know what you think of this whole process. Talk to you guys all later. Bye.